Hello everyone, this is Jakub Horbacevich speaking. Today I'm going to show you the configuration of a preferred group in Cisco ACI. So let's get started. The initial setup is the outcome of my previous demo on ACI contracts. So we have two EPGs. There is EPG1 with FTP server and EPG2 with FTP client. As for now, we have a contract configured between them that allows only FTP communication between them. But what are we trying to achieve in this demo? So I'm going to remove contract between EPG1 and EPG2 and I'm going to make them members of a newly created preferred group. And what does it mean? It means that uh, there will be free communication between EPG1 and EPG2, so there will be no requirement for a contract. Also, there will be additional EPG uh, called EPG3 with another FTP client. Okay? Uh, however, this EPG will not be the part of a preferred group. That uh, actually means that for a communication with FTP server, it will require additional contract, but uh, I will not configure it. And we'll see that this EPG doesn't have connectivity with neither EPG2 nor EPG1. So let's proceed with the configuration. Okay, so I have my tenant which, uh, which was configured in the previous demo and also my application profile. Uh, currently I have three EPGs in my application profile. So let's evaluate, let's verify the first EPGs. So EPG1 with this subnet, there is a FTP server residing in this EPG. So as we see, the FTP service is already running, okay? So moving on to the EPG2, where we have the FTP client. This is the subnet for the EPG2. So let's try to make a connection, FTP connection to the FTP server. Okay, login. And uh, I got the password prompt, so this connection will actually work. That's because there is a contract from the previous demo that allows this connection. Let me ping the FTP server. And this shouldn't work. And as we see, it doesn't. Okay, this is something expected. Why? Because we don't have the ICMP in the contract that we already configured. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to remove these contracts from the EPG01 and 2. Actually, I'm not removing the contract. I'm removing the association of this contract from these two EPGs, okay? So the contract is already there in the ACI ready to, to be used somewhere else, okay? The contract has been removed. And let me verify how the FTP client works right now. So we shouldn't make a connection to the FTP server. So the connection should fail. And indeed it failed. Okay, that's, that's something expected. Let's move here to the ACI. And uh, actually uh, in the next step, let's configure the preferred group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the VRF. I'm going to just to make sure that all of these EPGs that I'm talking about are the part, are the members of this specific VRF. And indeed, this is the case. So I'm going to expand this EPG collection for VRF and I'm going to enable it for the preferred group. Okay. So right now what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to the EPG01 and EPG02 and make those two EPGs the part of the preferred group, okay? And I'm going to leave the EPG03 with the default configuration, which actually means that it is excluded from the preferred group. So let's do this. Okay, uh, I'm going to policy general tab and then preferred group member include, and I'm going to submit it. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the EPG02, okay? policy tab, then the general one and include, there we go. Yep. Submit changes. Okay, so the configuration is ready. 
uh, let me verify the, uh, the topology of the application profile and as we can see there is no contract between these uh, EPGs and let's verify how it actually works so I'm going to go to the FTP client in the EPG02 I'm going to initiate the FTP traffic for this from this client and actually as we see uh, this uh, connectivity works so I can copy the file that's nice that works great let's try the pink FTP server and this should work as well let's see and it works why because right now we have a free communication between these two APGs so not only the FTP is allowed but the ICMP as well so I'm going to verify the behavior of the virtual machine which is residing in the EPG03 and what is the expectation the expectation is that it won't have neither connectivity to the FTP server in the EPG01 nor connectivity to the FTP client residing in the EPG02 because there is no contract between these EPGs and the EPG03 is not the part of the preferred group that we configured so let's go there to the EPG3 let's see if there is an endpoint connected it is so i have a virtual machine already residing in the zpg this is its ip address so let's ping the ftp server it's 1101 okay it is not working just out of curiosity let's ping the second ftp client and it's not working as well so let's verify the, the last step which is trying to make a FTP connection to the FTP server now let's log in and this connection should fail as well and uh, yes it failed this concludes our short video on preferred group configuration in Cisco ACI I encourage you to subscribe to networkingmasterhouse.com to get more networking related training. Remember, in hands-on we trust. I hope this has been informative. Thank you for watching. Cheers.